In this video, I'm going to talk about a plugin or a feature that I believe should exist in Adobe Premiere, but simply doesn't. And a third party developer has invented this amazing plugin called Watchtower. And the company is called Knights of the Editing Table. Now this plugin is going to help you in two distinct ways. One, it's going to help you stay more organized with your folders so that your project structure stays very clean. And number two, it's going to help you stay more focused while editing so that you don't have to lose your context in the middle of your edit when you're trying to import footage. I'm gonna explain how that all works out a little bit later in this video. So let me do a quick demo on how the Watchtower plugin works and how it really improves my workflow. Now, often I wanna share a screenshot, especially if I'm demoing a product, and I do this very often, especially in the mid cycle, kind of like when I'm editing a lot on the timeline. And like I said, having to go into your system folder and then drag it in, it's just very, very tedious and it really takes you out of workflow, takes you out of your context. Not only does it force you to context switch from your current task, when you did say drag a screenshot, for example, let's say, okay, so I have to look for a screenshot. So it's kind of cumbersome. Uh, so for example, this one here. So uh, if I paste it on the timeline, it's all disorganized in my actual project structure. I have to manually take this file that is copied into the root of my directory and then find the actual uh, screenshot folder. So this is kind of annoying. So I have to, so where's the screenshot folder? And then I have to load, I have to put it back to where it was. So that's just a very cumbersome process. So here's a much better way of doing it. So what I do is I use my keyboard shortcut command. It's Windows Shift S, and this will allow me to take a screenshot of this. And then I'm gonna save it to the folder. I'm gonna call this Time Bolt Homepage version two. And then you're like, okay, where is it? Well, I have to hit this little quick button on Watchtower and you can have it auto sync. I'll explain why I didn't have it in auto sync enabled, but let's just click it. And then boom, right away, it takes me to that exact bin, the screenshots bin, and it highlights that actual uh, screenshot that I had. So I can just quickly drag it to my timeline. And trust me, that's way, way faster than having to do the alternative method, which is like, okay, let me find my project. It's like, okay, where's my project? It's right here. And then you have to get the screenshot and then copy it over. That's just way too much work. And especially when you're really focused on the timeline, you just want to capture that screenshot as fast as possible and put it on your timeline. This plugin really saves a lot. Okay. So you might be wondering why do I not have auto sync enabled? Well, it has to do with OBS recorder, which is this software piece of software that allows me to record YouTube clips and, and presentations and whatnot. If you have that synced to your project, that to, for example, a OBS folder project, let's go, let's go back to the main template over here. So OBS recordings is a watched directory and I like to have it record into here. If I record into there, it's going to be a partial video file because it's obviously streaming into it. So it's going to act a little funny. So I just simply have it disabled. Uh, I'm going to go into the settings. So enable auto sync. I just have it disabled. And then every time you want to import something, you can just quickly hit the refresh button. Now I did talk to developer. He's very active. His support is amazing. He was very helpful. I asked him how we can have a workaround for this. And he said he's working on a fix. If you use a project template generator for Premiere Pro, which is something that I will cover in a future video. So get subscribed for that. Or let's say you move your projects folder around a lot. Let's say transferring between an external drive or a different computer. Watchtower has you covered with its relative folder path setting. Let me show you how it works in my project, which was generated by my template generator. By the way, I will leave a link to my project generator in the description of this video for free. Basically, I've already set it up in my template so that it uses a relative folder structure. So what do, what, what do I mean by that? Well, if you go into the settings, so I go to advanced and you can see that you can import image sequences, which is basically if you have a bunch of images, it'll know how to like kind of create it into one sequence. You can flatten the folder, which I don't really use, but then there's this really useful feature called R, which is use relative path. And basically what that means is when you are importing footage to, let's say this folder over here, so no matter where the project is located in your system folders, it's going to know to read that folder because it's using the relative folder path. So you basically, you don't have to worry about anything. All you have to do is drag the footage into your predefined project and it will automatically import. So it just makes the whole process a lot easier. So footage is a very basic folder. It's going to capture all the footage. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and plop in the footage from my project. So this is kind of like the entire thing over here. I'm just going to plop that in. Now we have one screenshot, so I'm going to put it in the screenshot folder. Now you can see that when I open this project, you notice that there's nothing here. There's no footage, but in the actual system folder, there's a ton of footage. And you're like, oh, what the heck What happened? Well, wait till you see I do this. I'm going to click this little button over here. This is called the watchtower okay. and then boom, everything is being imported. I want to say that this plugin called watchtower, I have to say it is extremely immensely useful. 
And I'm really surprised that it's not super known in like the big YouTube influencers. So I will leave a link in the description for the Watchtower plugin. I really think it's worth it. And no, it's not an affiliate link. And yes, I did buy it with my own money. So check it out. I really do recommend it. And I'll see you in the next video.